Be of good cheer, everyone. It is I, Oc the Angel, returns once again for yet another episode of Splatoon 3's Hero Mode. Last time on Hero Mode of Splatoon 3, we made it through number two. I've been calling the, you know what, they're technically called levels, but we made it through number two. Sink into the ink and swim. This time, we're going to be taking on the third kettle in Hero Mode, which is... Boxes locked! Keys, please! Oh, no. It's not this level in particular, but I know that there's a level coming up in Hero Mode that's going to be the absolute death of me, and you guys will know exactly what it is when we get to that. Maybe some of you already know. Oh, boy. When we get to that level, you guys... I'm pretty sure many of you may know what level I might be talking about because I've heard... Oh! This is the key! You see this thing right here? That thing is locked! In order to actually unlock it, you need a key. How very, um, you know, seems pretty self-explanatory. Regardless, um, there's a level in Splatoon 3's Hero Mode that I know a lot of people actually get stuck on. And, oh my gosh, when we get to that, it's gonna suck. This right here is known as an ink rail. In order to actually activate it, simply, uh simply ink it, and then you'll be able to activate it. Unfortunately, you are not able to squid surge like you normally can and ink like this which it kind of makes sense so you pretty much are you yeah you, you could jump that's about it but just make sure you're holding on to that zl button for dear life because as long as you hold on to the zl button you are safe within this ink ink rail otherwise the moment you let go bada bing bada boom you are screwed now there are actually going to be multiple switches over here not just this one you activate this switch right here and it will reveal itself a key or a pretty much a lock within a lock okay that's cool it's like getting a package and then the package is a box and then within the box itself there's a freaking another box anyway this right here is known as an octo trooper it's basically an our octocopter it's basically an octo trooper except the only difference is he actually has a helmet that actually allows him to fly they could actually be rather annoying because with how they are flying around as much and to any of those that actually remember my astral chain series you guys know how just how much i hate aerial enemies aerial enemies are literally the worst in this freaking game because not not just in this game but the worst in general like wait a second is that really all did i even have to come over here that seemed pretty irrelevant. Regardless, um, yes, aerial enemies are just my... I hate them so much. Now, you will have instances where there's an ink rail right there, and there's a little thing right here that connects to the ink rail. You are unable to actually activate the ink rail by hitting that thing, so what you have to do is you have to throw a bomb over there. Or in our case, little buddy, because we don't have any bombs yet. Little buddy, you need to stop eating the crap out of that thing because, well, you pretty much did your job. It's already it's already activated and all that jazz. There should be a key right here. Find the key, find the key. Wait, wait a second. I only got one key. Where is there something else? What am I missing? Hello? I have to be missing something up here. Oh, no. It's only the third level. How am I already? I can't be this stupid. I seriously cannot be this stupid. Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> Apparently I am this stupid because I don't know where I gotta go. Um... Lord Jesus, if you could just give me a sign as to where the heck I need to go. That would be great. That would be absolutely marvelous. Is there anything up there? Oh, buddy? No? Nothing? Wait, 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 there's something over there. I see that orange box. Usually an orange box is actually something that's good. Unless you're Crash Bandicoot. And then again, crates in general are just Crash Bandicoots. Or just Crash's absolutely worst nightmare. There's a key. I see a thing right there that connects there. How do I get the key? How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Um... Um, is there something over here by chance? No? Wait. Huh? Come on, Ock. You cannot be that stupid. You cannot be this stupid, Ock. Yep. It's up there. It's up there. It's up there. That's why I couldn't see it, because I didn't know it was up there. Wow, wait a second. I should have known that it was up there. What? Oh my gosh. Now you may be thinking, how the heck do we get up there? We can't ink this? Well, simple, my good friend. What we have to do is, we have to go over here, get on this ink rail right here, and then bada bing bada boom, we could friggin' jump. I can't believe that took me so long to actually find that stupid thing. Well, 
The award for biggest idiot in the world goes to me, Ock the Angel. Also, I have to destroy that crate right there because it's the last crate, and you know, if I don't destroy that crate right there, it's gonna bug a lot of people and it's gonna bug me too. <sighs> With that being said, we're just going to splash down our way into this. Ah, Bisky! Keep it up, Agent 3, you're making me proud. Now, I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than they've already be been ruffled, but those fuzzy Octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider calling some backup. Let me just fire up the old communicator. Check, check, this is Cuttlefish. Over, do you, copy. Agent 2 here, over. Wait, Gramps, is that you? Where are you? Agent 1, this is Agent 2. Gramps has wandered off, again, over. Well, what are we waiting for, Agent 2? Let's go collect them. Roger that, stay fresh. Did they just hang up on me? Yes, they did. Now I know how. You know what? I'm gonna, before we actually move on, um, Zan actually did that to me the other day, and, um, it's, I guess that's revenge for when I did it to her, so. Yeah, karma. Anyway. Eight ages these days, am I right? So impatient. Actually, grandchildren these days. Aha. Uh -huh. Cuddle. I found you. Dag nabbit, this whole thing is busted. Oh well, come on, let's go. I can't believe it took me that long to actually clear that level because I couldn't find the most basic of things because I'm a freaking idiot. Also, what's the point of that thing right there when we could simply ink the wall and we can go back up? Anyway, enough with the freaking monotone voice right there, Ock. Hey, we got a packet of table turf cards. We're actually going to go over ta what table turf is at a later point. Uh-oh. A very narrow pathway. Be very careful. One wrong move and you're good. Make sure your foot does not get caught in that. Are we good? Little buddy, go eat! Dinner is served, my little buddy, good friend, oh pal of mine. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Next time on Splatoon 3 Hero Mode, I almost said Splatoon 2's Hero Mode. We're actually going to be taking on the fourth kettle of Hero Mode. Until then, take care and stay fresh, everybody.